Hey everybody, so I'm back today because I'm going to try to film a setup with August, actually. I know we're kind of still in July, but we're almost done with July, so. Um, right here I've got, let's see, I did some journaling. Well, let's just take a quick look at July. So we set this up together, if you guys remember, right? Uh, we did, that's the monthly, and then here's my school monthly which I'm already, it's just crazy because I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna have another test coming up. Um, and then this weekend actually is when I go to my San Antonio planner convention, the Fiesta themed one. So I'm excited, but I'm also like, ee, everything is getting, you know, it's coming really fast. So uh, yeah, and then of course we've got my menu going on here. And then I went with the theme that the Coffee Monster Co. kind of came up with. And this was that week that we planned together. This this kit was really pretty. It was super jungly themed, tropical, like lots of foil. Totally love that. Did a little bit of, we did this on camera a little too. We did um, like a little journaling type list situation. Um, and I, I had this also that I wanted to put down and I just kind of incorporated the jungle theme, pulled in some of the red. And these, I think I showed this last time too. It's, these are from Papershire. She's got these freebies on her Facebook group. So if you're part of that group, you can download them. And I just kind of like clustered them together on a piece of paper, printed it out, and then I folded it like a little trifold. I think it would have been cuter had I fussy cut it around this with scissors, you know, so it was just the outline of the little notepad. But I mean, and then I just kind of took some notes in there. So yeah, and then did some journaling here too. I was feeling really sad this day. I was missing my dog. I've had her for, uh, I had her for 14, going, well, 15 years really. December would have been 15 years. Um, and she had a little tumor um, in her uterus. So we had to put her to sleep. Um, it was very upsetting. I still, it's, I cry for her all the time. It's hard talking about her, but moving along because we don't want to make this a sad video. Uh, so this is how this week turned out. Remember we talked about how I painted it and I wasn't sure if I was going to like it because it was kind of hard because it was crinkly, but it's not bad. It's really not too t too terrible and it looks really pretty. Um, maybe it would look like if you're really one of those people who wants that clean look is if I had taken care when I colored it so that it would all be the pretty watercolor, but then made sure that it was all lined up with the lines I drew. So it'd be cleaner, you know, but I mean, artistically, I think it looks pretty. That's very shimmery. I don't know if you guys can tell on the camera too much. I'm losing light. I meant to film earlier, but my dog was being really fussy. Um, you guys probably can tell my hands are all, there's all kinds of scars. I have a puppy and she's been biting me and leaving me like she's leaving her mark on me for sure. So I, I'm sorry if my hands look like that. But anyway, um, yes, I went on and then I had some washi. They came in and I thought I'd do this little dashboard with it. I really was just doing it like swatches to show my friend. And then I thought it looked kind of pretty. So I was like, you know what? Maybe that'll be my new thing. When I get new washi, I'll swatch it in the planner just to just to have it because it looks pretty. Doesn't it look cute? I think it looks cute. Anyway, I did some more journaling there. And then I also, on this day, we didn't do very much at all. It was very hot. 105 degrees outside, you guys. Like, I could fry an egg on the sidewalk. That's how hot it was. Um, we watched Do Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, my husband and I, with the dogs. We just had a really chillax day. And then I got some more happy mail. So I had these washies. Now, these three down here, I won't lie to you, these are not new. I mean, they're new, but I didn't just get them. I opened them up and added them here so that the bottom would be filled up too, but I had these already for a bit. These are from... Lime wire, no, square lime designs, I think is her name. Um, and then, of course, you guys know these, all of these are um, from Every Minute of Story. I always have them, I have to stop for a second because I don't want to say the wrong name. Um, but aren't these adorable? I love Lilo and Stitch, and I had to get that because I love that movie. I watch it every now and then. Um, and then, of course, she just has cute doodles. I love how she's got a gigantic, like, potato head, <laughs> you know? I think it's funny. Anyway, um, so I did some more journaling going on. 
my uncle passed away, so I did journaling for that. And then we went to the funeral and it was difficult. Um, I went back to one of my old pens that I like. It's kind of like a marker pen. You guys probably remember these. You know those really old, hold on, I bet you, let me just get it. Give me a second. Do you remember Mambi used to come up with these? Happy Planner would come up with these. It's like a, just a felt tip pen. I, my handwriting to me is the best when I write with these. I can go like slow, take my time and write the letters and they, I think they come out really nice and legible, you know, like neat. But anyway, I still, I don't know. I prefer the, uh, my other, my Japanese pen. It's just, I just like the flow of it. It's just very, I don't know, I can't explain it. But anyway, I was trying to find it, but I'm like, you know what, let's just move on. This was the day for the funeral and I'm going to print out something to put here. Um, I do have like the the invite that they sent saying, hey, we're gonna have the funeral services. I might put that, or I might put the very last picture I have of he and I here. And uh, we'll see which one I like better, but I, I do wanna put something there for this day. And then I have some stickers that I can put down. Um, okay, anyway, so this was some more washi that I just got from Mamlak. Mamlak? I don't know how to say it, you guys, but she's kind of new to me, and I liked, I love, I'm into the whole teddy bear thing right now. I don't know. Don't ask me, because I used to be into bows, but I'm not, I don't hate bows, but I'm not, like, super crazy about bows right now either. Now I'm just kind of, like, I like the cutesy teddy bear stuff, and she has these, and it's M-A-M-L-A-Q. I don't know if it's Mamlak. Mamalak, I don't know. But I ordered them from her and they came in. Tell me this is not the cutest snowman, y'all. It looks like a teddy bear. It's so cute. It's so cute. I want to hug it. But anyway, okay, moving along. This is this week. I started, uh, I set it up with, this is an old printable that I had done. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to use it. I need to use it up. It's summertime right now. You know, it's hot. Might as well keep the, you know, the... I don't know how to say it like the theme going you know like it's still summer I'm just you guys I'm ready to go into fall I want to do Halloween spreads I'm just ready to jump into all that uh so yeah anyway so this is what this looks like so far I have to fill in today still and then I've left myself some journaling pages or list pages to write and fill in um so that I can move on and then I left myself this page. This is, these are journaling pages for the Fiesta kit that I'm gonna use for the Fiesta planner event that I'm gonna attend. And I already drew in the columns for it. Um, I'll probably film that for y'all so y'all can see how I set it up and I'll talk more about that if you care. Okay, so moving along. Um, we're after the Fiesta theme. Let's see, I should have done this before, you guys, I'm sorry. But, you know, some of y'all were saying y'all wanted longer videos, so this will be a little bit longer. 24th, so I know that this is going to be the 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 31. So, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30. I'm not going to care about 31 because I want to just go ahead. Oh, actually, you know what? Yes, I'll give myself 31 in an extra page. So here, let's go ahead and do this. I moved into this print pression. Um, this is a traveler notebook. I just stuck my book in here because since it's getting to the end, I'm getting very close to the end here. This is more flexible and easy to just pull my book out and in into, you know, if I need to so that I can do this. So let's pull it out real quick. I don't want to lose my page. I <laughs> just counted for you guys. So, um... Yeah, I'm gonna move this out of here so that I can work in this book to get it set up because typically it's easiest if you fold it over. Um, and I'm sure you guys already know that trick, right? You can get your Stalogy books when they get real fat like this, really chunky like this, and find a place anywhere that you want and just fold it over like so. Like this. That way you have a more flat, you see this playing field, if you will. Um, I have clips and people do sometimes clip these together, like to hold it, you know, in place. And I'm contemplating, 
Should I get it? Let me get it. Hold on one sec. Let's see. I have, I will um, probably do a storage for you guys too. So you can see, because some people wanted to see like, you know, how I store my stuff. And I understand because like, I, I also like to know, <laughs> I like to know how people store their stuff. Sometimes it's just fun or you just get ideas on what to do or how to store things. So, okay, I've got this little clip here. We'll do this one. Let's see if it holds everything, y'all. Okay, that's good enough, right? All right, so this is what I did. Um, I think you guys remember. Look how cute. Didn't it come out cute? I think so. Freaking, what do you call it? What's her name? The Coffee Monster Co., remember? She did this. It was a freebie on her Facebook group. So I got inspired to just f do that theme, underwater theme. Normally for me, August is more like back to school, but whatever. Let's venture out. So I did this. Um, and I thought it came out quite cute. I just got some watercolor um, images from Pinterest and Google and stuff, and I just stuck them down. So I'm just gonna stick these in here. I'm just saying, and like, y'all are like, okay, go. <laughs> here I am, sorry. All right, so I'm gonna move this around a little bit. Sorry, you guys. We wanna make it. I always do the, the wrong thing. I'm like, I'm gonna turn it around and then I put it in the wrong spot. So we're gonna move it and put it to here. This way. Okay. And you guys, I, during the funeral, everyone was going up and talking and saying like, you know, memories of my uncle. Like, oh, he was a good man and oh, you know, this and that. Just like the memories of you know how they do. Well, I mean, I've never, I've only been to one funeral and I was very young. So I don't, I don't really know. I was like, I don't, do I talk, like, what do I do? I mean, I, seriously, I didn't know what to do, how to handle anything. Um, and anyways, people were going up and they were talking and saying this and that, right? And I was like, oh man, yeah, I'm going to go up there. I'm going to do that too. I have nice things to say about him. <laughs> Let me just explain to you guys. It's very easy to think, oh, I've got this. I am going to go up there and wow everyone with my amazing story of my uncle. He was great. He was the life of the party, which he was. He was totally the life of the party. He was very loud and he wanted you to know he was there. That was just his personality. And anytime that you went to a party and you're like, oh God, this is such a dud. As soon as he got there, you're like, what dud? That party was fun. He's just... He would just literally make you just, you know, his energy was infectious. He would just be so loud and be like, hey, what's up, everybody? How you doing? You know, so my point of saying all of this is I went up there fully like, oh, I'm, I'm going to blow these people out of the water. I'm going to give an amazing speech. They're going to really see what kind of person my uncle was. I'm so excited. First of all, I nearly had a panic attack sitting in the chair waiting to do this. And then my speech flopped. Like I was like, uh, you know, I just, I, I couldn't think of words. I couldn't think of what to say. I, <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's not funny, but it is, you know, because it's like, uh, I was really confident. I was like, I've got this in the bag. I'm going to, I'm going to wow these people. And I'm sure they were like, God, who let her up there? Is she drinking? Like, what? <laughs> I just could not. And then I speak Spanish because I'm Puerto Rican. But I, I express myself best in English. And I was like, I'm going to talk in English because they're not going to know what I'm saying. And if I say it in Spanish, they're not going to understand what I feel. I might as well have spoken Spanish because I don't. I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed on my way to the chair, like to the pew. I was so embarrassed. And I was like, oh. And, you know, my his wife and my cousins and stuff, my aunt. Why did I say his wife? I mean, she is, but she's also my aunt. My aunt and my cousins were sitting on the front row, obviously. And they were laughing. Not at me, but like the stuff I was saying was, I guess I thought it was funny. Sometimes I talk and people do think I'm funny and I'm not trying to be funny. And when I'm trying to be funny, sometimes people are confused. <laughs> so, you know, you just kind of roll with the punches if you're me. But, uh, so, 
and they were giggling so i was like oh okay but everyone else literally dude it was crickets y'all like you could hear a cricket fart in china it was that quiet i don't think people were amused <laughs> people were like who let this woman up there and i myself asked the same questions i was like i don't know who said i could go up there what made me think i could go up there but i did i went up there but it's okay. At least I felt like I, you know, like I said what I thought, I, what I felt, and how I viewed him. So it didn't go too terrible. It's just I was embarrassed because I know I could have done a better speech than that. But what do you do? <laughs> oh, gosh. Anyways, I had, so, I had a lot of fun doing this, uh, finding these little images and stuff. These were from the Nikki Plus 3 journaling kit these that I showed you guys last time see I used them all these uh, images these are so cute right and I was like okay I guess that's the universe telling me I'm gonna do a nautical theme or underwater sea creature theme for my August because I got that from her and she had that going on and so did the coffee monster co so I was like all right that's what it shall be so that's what I'm doing but I'm so excited to do Halloween I was already I've been saving images and all kinds of things I have so many ideas and I'm so excited to do that and I'm I decided I'm gonna film it for y'all I know some of y'all don't care to watch that and that's okay but some of y'all do want to and so I definitely will do it for y'all I'm going to decorate the heck out of my planner and the cover I have a black faux croc one that I'm gonna use and I'm so excited about it I couldn't be more excited if I didn't use that voice. Literally. That's how excited I am. Okay, let's see. So we've got the beginning of August here. I think this sticker is kind of crooked. It's hard for me to tell because I'm not over it. And I know that you guys probably can tell better on screen when you are watching it. If it is really crooked, I'll probably... I won't do it on screen, but I'll probably just use the undo and put it down and then lift it and lay it properly. But we'll move on because the video might be too long, even for those who like long ones. Okay, so I'm going to put my menu down. Here's one of my menus. So that's what I was saying, you guys. I made these myself, and let me show you. I have my little, um, what is this called? I have variations of this. I did two different ones, just so it's not like super boring, because you know you get tired of the same. So I have this one, and then I have this one. So I've got like a little sandwich. Um, if you don't know me, I love, like love, L-O-V-E, okay, love, food that looks like little animals, especially the hamburger bear. They're so cute. I even have a knitted, like a crocheted one. And whenever I do my, um, my storage tour where I show you like, you know, everything where everything is, uh, I'll show you the one I have. It's a crocheted one, but I am a sucker for the, the little bear hamburger hamburgers are my favorite food first of all but i love the hamburger oh so cute let me just anyway so i did these um i thought they were cute they're just little animal foods <laughs> food animals whatever you want to call it so i have variations two, two different variations but we're gonna use this one today so i just do that so i don't get bored and you know the stalogy i know that some people use rings and stuff um and they like it because they can just pull things out and all that totally get that I mean that that's a good reason to like it um but like for me I'm trying to figure out do I want it more down here or more up and then just put a little piece of washi here maybe more up huh what do y'all think don't you wish you could talk like whenever the person who's recording asks a question don't you wish you could say whatever it is and they can hear you instead we're like so what do you say what do you think guys and y'all are like T -t I'm not even gonna answer because you can't hear me <laughs> I think I'm going to put it down so that I can put some washi up here. I have this washi from Simply Gilded. No, sorry. This is from Paca Post. And they're fish. They're little blue fish. Here's the big one too. I think I'm going to put that here on the top. Just to bring in some of the nautical. I ran out of nautical stickers, like little marine things but i think after i film i'm gonna go to hobby lobby and buy some stickers and then i'll come back in and like fill it out you know what 
I'm indecisive, y'all. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it this way. You know why? It's firmer here where all the stickers are, and up here it's a little more floppy on the end because there's no, you know, because all of my, my, um, what do you call it? These, they're all in the middle. And so there, this is the more, the most sturdy part of the planner. And this, there's nothing here really, so it's soggy, you know? Not soggy, but you know what I mean, right? You know what I mean. Okay, let's try it this way, you guys. I'm gonna flip it this way and do it that way. Let's we'll see if I can, if I can muster this. Oops. So typically when I lay these down, I like to fold over. So that I can try to roll it off. And now I'll line it up where I kind of want it. i just put it here. And then if you guide this, it'll start to roll off as you go. Like that. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I can put some of this on there. Oh, and I also pulled out this piece of vellum. This is from Simply Gilded. It was like an old subscription. I don't have her subscription anymore because I ended up having too many things. But I thought it would go really great with this. Um, and I think when I go to Hobby Lobby, if I find some marine animal thing, like stickers or something, I might put them here. I'll end up showing you guys in another video anyway because, you know, I'll just do like a flip. So I'll show you what I did. But I think that I might do that. I was going to do it beforehand, but like I said, I'd run out of light and then the video would be not as great. So, I'm going to put this guy down here and put the washies down for everything. Let's go ahead and do that. Was it wise of me to pull it all the way off of there? Probably not. Probably not. So I ordered some stuff for the fiesta party, well, the planner event, and <laughs> I ordered these really adorable bags. I really liked them. I thought they were so cute, and I was like, man, that's going to be perfect. I can put all of the little table mate gifts on there, which um, I'm new to this, so I didn't even know this, but it's like you can buy these little gifts for the people that are sharing a table with you. It's not required, but you know, it's it's nice and fun to do. So I bought these bags. I was like, man, these are so cute. They're amazing. I love them. And <laughs> when I got them, you guys, literally the size of this. They're small. I was like, what is that? The picture showed them to be like, you know, pretty good size. So um, the things that I picked out do fit in there. But I'm going to have to fold one of the items. Which is a pencil pouch that matches the theme. And I'm a little bit bummed out because I'm like, man, I wanted it to look nice, you know? But I mean, I guess it, it won't matter too much. It's just, sometimes when you when you go that, do the effort, you want it to look the way you envision. So I wanted it to look really pretty, but you know, you know how things are. All right, so I like this. Um, what I'll do is I'll look for some coral or something like that so I can kind of decorate the sides or the top. And I think that will look pretty once I'm done with it. Um, Nikki Plus 3 added these florals in here, but I don't want to add the floral because I feel like it's out of place with the rest of it. You know, see like these, but there's no floral here um, or even here. like. I didn't add any floral, so it's kind of like, um, I don't think I'm going to do that. But I will add some washi here at the top, just to tie it all in. Let me see. I can never tell which way this is supposed to go. Maybe like this. I always like adding washi because it adds a little something to it. Oh my god, speaking of washi, you guys. Okay, so... Little craft place, right? It's like a little, I think it's a Japanese store. They have stationery, especially like planner stuff. And sorry if I'm screaming, I just, I got excited. Um, but they have these really cute washi 
it just came in with some washi that looks like the freaking ocean like well you know the beach y'all like it's transparent but you can see the waves and the sand and all like it just looks really cool so you know that after i'm done filming everything today i'm definitely gonna go check that out because how could i not you know what i mean i have to i literally have to go i am aware that this is covering up his fin a little but i also feel it would it would look and complete if I didn't do it on this side. Does it take away? No, I mean, it's see-through. I mean, if I really wanted to be interesting, I could cut around it. <laughs> dare I? Dare I try? Let's see. I can always replace the washi if we don't like it. Let's try it. Where is my slice tool? Okay. Here's my slice tool. Let's see if I can do this. Don't mind my dad's dog. He must have heard me talk. Or the neighbor. Did I cut it? How does that look, y'all? Does that look better? So there. There's that. Okay, so that's the setup. I've got my monthly here. My school monthly, which I've already filled out. Um, my meals. Oh, what am I saying? I'm not done. I've got to put in my... This guy. Okay, so a little tip. Or at least... And I've told you all this before, probably. So if you are like, we already know, then I'm sorry. But um, I typically cut these a little shorter. And I don't tip it into the spine. So that I don't have a super warped spine. But I still get the thickness that we like. So that this happens. You see, I'm not even using this clip anymore. It's, it's able to lay down. Because the spine, it doesn't have a lot of force in there. You know, there's not a lot of things like warping it um and so i'm able to you know open up to pages and it doesn't like you know what i mean you know how they get really thick and we love it but then when you try to use it uh the thicker it gets it's a little harder because the pages won't stay they'll kind of flip over or they'll you know what i mean so what you do is you cut the page down less than like normally it would fill the whole thing but you cut it less enough to where you can see the spine there you see that and then you just tape it here instead of taping it into the spine you just tape it here on the page this close that way you can still flip it and everything but it's not into the spine so i'm going to embarrass myself again and try doing this on camera for y'all i don't know why it's this annoying because when i do it for myself it's easy but for some reason when i'm filming it I look like a buffoon. Almost like when I talked at the funeral. Because in my mind, I thought I knew what I was saying. And then I went up there blabbering like an idiot. I should give myself some grace though. Because I mean, it was a very emotional thing. Alright, so. This is where I would lay it. Can y'all see? This is where I would lay it. And then I will use my fingernail to push down on the tape closest to the vellum and then it'll automatically stick properly to the other side so if this is my piece of tape and this is the part of the vellum this is my vellum this is my tape i've got this part of the tape already stuck to the vellum right i press my fingernail along this side and you see how it makes this part lift this part will lay down and stick to the part that I want it to, which is the paper. And this part, since it folds up a little, will lay nice and evenly against the opposite side so that you can then push it. So it looks a lot nicer. It looks a lot cleaner, as you can see. See, it's cleaner. And that way, it's on here just like I want it to be, but I can still flip it. 
Um, and I don't do these on both sides. I used to, but I find that it's easier to flip and the page will stay. If I do it on both sides, sometimes this page pops up. So I'm like, whatever, I just leave it. It's not like I flip this page that much anyway. It's more for looks, right? So yeah, that's that. And then normally here, I would go ahead and start my next week. I would draw it in and put in my new week. But I haven't decided what I want to do for August yet, but I will film that for y'all. So we'll, we'll figure it out together. Okay, so anyway, that's, oh, I will go ahead and tell y'all this now. This here, I normally make my own of these, but this was from the planner press she used to sell these. And it was like a kit. Basically it had the front and the back and the spine and you would put this on a binder. So you know those binders that you put your stickers in, like the little small personal ones they sell like at Walmart or at like Office Depot? It's that kind of situation and I never used those binders, but I had I liked these and I didn't know that that's what they were when I ordered them. When I ordered them, um I thought they were the binder, but it was not. It was just showing you that they're for the binders. So I was like, "Well, I'm going to use that." And I cut it to fit the stylogy and it's cuz it's a sticker. And I just put it around the whole thing. So that's what I did. So that's what that cover is for this one. But anyways, so this is how it looks. As you can see, my spine, like I was telling you, because I don't tip them into the spine, it's not super warped. It's only warped because there's a lot of thickness right here where my columns start for my stickers. But that is why it's able to lay flat like this. Any page that you turn it. There's no... You know, it's not going to like do like it normally does when the spine is corrupted. So anyway, that was my video. That was my setup there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the chatter. And I will keep in mind what we talked about and I will film the others. All right. So if you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.